Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tendager, and we are playing some Mass Effect. Ashley is over there! We need to go over here, because we need to go save Caden. Sure, why not? That's how science is going to work, right? R right, 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 no. Oh, balls. Okay, here we go. Kurgan Warlord. Time to die. Time for everybody to die. And for you to die, and then you're dead, and everybody wins, except for you guys. So just me, really. Oh, this game is so delightfully glitchy sometimes. What? That was very quick for this game, actually, in terms of loading. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Williams? <clears throat> Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! You're going it's to die commander. if you do that! Go get the lieutenant and oh, get balls. the hell out of here! Like, we can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! You've got like five minutes! Ash, if we just waited like, like 60 seconds even, she could... Dash through, get on the elevator, get up here, and we can take her with us! Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to explain this. If we leave Ashley, Ashley will 100% die, the nuke will go off, and she will die. Let's ignore everything that we know about this game and what we know happens. With Caden, if we don't go back to Caden, there is a chance Caden could survive. Because other people who are in his group do survive if you help them out, like Kiri, he survives. So it is... Logically speaking, Caden could still survive, Ashley would never survive this. Also, reason two for what I'm about to do. As bad as it is to say, Ashley has a family. Ashley has sisters, family, mother, father, people to go back to. Caden has said before he does not have a family. He doesn't really have very many people who would miss him. I'm going to Ashley. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Just hold on. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. Well, just it, logically speaking, it is totally possible that Caden could survive this. Ashley, however, would be 100% dead if we didn't get her. You know, it's partially her fault. It, it, it totally is. If she hadn't been so hasty to start setting off the nuke, we could have turned around, wiped out the Geth, then done everything the way we were supposed to and saved everybody involved. Okay, then. Stay off my ash! Stay off my ash! That is my ash! She is my ash! I see you there! Kill it, and... Oh, wow, I actually overheated this thing. I haven't done that in a while. A crime. Stay away from me. Oh, oh my drone of singularity yet. Okay, it's dead. Good. Very quickly going to level everybody. Uh, uh, armor. I need that. Damping. Why not? Armor. Why not? You okay, Ash? Okay, let's go get Caden. We could totally do that right now. Or just, you know, you've set the bomb, Ashley. Let's go. Let's go get Caden. 
Let's go! Let's go now! Please? No? Balls. Hi. Of course there was one hiding. We need to set the nuke and get out! We can't hold! Left flank! Left flank! Suppressing fire! Suppressing... Oh. Hi, kid! <laughs> Hi, sir! How are you doing? You cheeky bugger! Haven't seen your face in a while! Well, I'm not very good at this. I have brought the Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You work for a Reaper. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision for the Beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, <laughs> but what dead. if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? I won't be a slave. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. <laughs> I finished again. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. But it's not working, is it? You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now, but the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Really? Because you're looking all blue and technological there, honey buns? Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. No! Tell me why Sovereign Bad needs idea. the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You're indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Join me, sir! Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. Yeah, of Visions course you don't. You're indoctrinated. Denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. Um, how can you do this? You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign hey, yes, you will are. succeed. It is never. <clears throat> My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. 
between organics and machines. Again. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Gosh darn it, Nappa! What did you- Ow! Jerk face. Wait a minute, did I just- I was over here, I swear to- I swear I was over here during that cutscene. This version of Saren looks kinda easy. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe just put on level 51 at this point or something? <laughs> Loading! Have to load the cutscene. I am all pretty right now. No, stay away from Ashley! Oh, he's going for me. Of course he is. I look kind of badass when I'm half see through. Mm, bye, Saren! Ash, let's, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Let's, let's do that now. It's probably a good idea. Bye, Caden. Bye, Caden. Bye, Caden. found Saren. We finished all the other quests. We are now officially in the end game. I I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? We didn't just leave him. We got Kirihei, so he survived, I think. It was you or him? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It was my decision. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. Her I nose is missing, that. like partially. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Don't sacrifice yourself. Ash, how far are you gonna drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. But it's true. What the public and the military did to him was unfair, but I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. I, I, Commander. Commander, no. excuse Such me for interrupting, body. but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Do it. You want to join our minds again, <coughs> don't you? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Just, just Vulcan probe my brain. What's that symbol? It's like this or something? Relax, Commander. Embrace no. eternity. No. Refuse. <laughs> That's gross. We found a planet! We found two planets. <laughs> Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Of course myself. they would. What did you see? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but... The warning came too late. Anything else? What about the conduit? <laughs> there were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. 
Aha! How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Let's go! We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are sectors. Yeah. It's like, we'll be careful. I have a stealth ship. Let's do this. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh... You need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. The joining is... Exhausting. Really? Go to the Is it now? And lie down for a moment. Are you okay? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. Well, I say that every time that she always some refuses rest. me. Somewhere quiet. And go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combuoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. Joker you know, sounds so sad. About Sovereign. Oh. Set the link up, Joker. Joker sounds know. so sad. Patching it through. Funny. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Excuse your face. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. You've got bigger problems. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. <laughs> you don't if say. If it turns out to be accurate. Oh my god, really? Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. I need to just smack these it's guys. It's <laughs> possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. You need proof? Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our we decisions saw it. affect trillions of lives. <coughs> we cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. Oh, screw and so. you. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. This is where the screen is for me. Of course they don't believe me. They're gonna spend the entire second game not believing me. And then all of the Reapers attack the third one, they go, Oh no, Shepard, you need to help our faces! Hmm. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> okay, then. Everything is very quiet. Let's go talk to people. Hi, Presley. Yes, Commander? You have nothing Carry to on, say. Carry on, Presley. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This is gonna be our final talking to everybody before we go to Ilos. So, Joker, how are you holding up? Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. So sorry. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... Rather hard? Yeah? I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Pray you never have to, Joker. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, you it's okay? hard, you know? You okay, honey? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Damn straight! Okay. So there's Joker. Oh boy, we still gotta go talk to everybody else. Cause I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some words for me. Hello, Presley. Bye bye, Presley. Let me through the door. Okay. Let's see. And now all we have to talk to on this deck would be. Um. Liara. Because. Well, Chalk was too, but. Caden's gone. Caden's not there anymore. Yes, Commander? Is there no. something you need? No more porn How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted. Okay, yeah, we've already done but this But humanity one. needs the Alliance. Goodbye, Goodbye Chagras. Commander. Chagras doesn't have much special stuff to say until the second game. Hi, Liara. 
How great! The new version of the porn walk. Talking to Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Wait, haven't I done this before? You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. So do I, because he's kind of indoctrinated and not doing everything well. He's become a slave well. to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? We'll never know. <laughs> well... Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. It doesn't. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He I may suppose. be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Yes, uh, he is. Let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Well, by the are. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. We still gotta talk to Ashley and Rex. And just apologize profusely to Rex. <laughs> and Ashley and Garrus and Tolly and all of my peepsicles. Do 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 do. This is the slowest moving elevator. How big is this ship also? Do 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 Okay. See, I start, I start singing really badly, and then it decides to do stuff. Oh, hi, Kiri! It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I'll miss him. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reason. Reality that every soldier must accept. Rest yep. assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach. You have my gratitude, Commander. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. <laughs> I defer to his judgment. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Hi, Rex. Wait, uh, Rex. Commander. Hi. Things got heated back on Vermeer. Sorry. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. We'll have him soon yeah, enough. Yeah, he was just cloning then broken. He can answer for his crimes. Cloning isn't a trick here. do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. <laughs> Commander. Hi, Ash. Back okay. in. About Lieutenant Alenko. <laughs> How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. We're... S <laughs> yeah, it's not your fault, Please honey. listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? <laughs> uh, this is actually what I would say. I've vowed to do better. Nobody is dying under my command. Safe. Except Caden. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. <laughs> sure they do. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Do -do 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 -do. Hi, Garrus. Do you have anything to say? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Again? What for, Garrus? <laughs> for everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said. About Didn't we already do this? Immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. 
But you were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Good. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep yeah, going. we've already had this conversation. I, I love you, honey buns. But we got things to does. And we're going to does those things. Hi, Tolly! Tolly, Tolly, Tolly. Hey, Shepard. You need something? Not really. I just want to see if you have anything to say. See you later. So that's all of our preparations, guys. And this video is going to be slightly shorter than the other ones because I want to start Ilos on a fresh slate. My name is Miss Scott Tanager, and I've been playing some best friends. I'll see you all in the next video.